After starting the season in Chile, we've been traveling around Europe, but now we find ourselves at the longest running enduro event in the United States. And it is also one of the highest. You would have thought the peaks of the Alps were high, but the village here is even higher than them. And we're gonna see a little change in the format as well. It's gonna be three days of racing and seven stages. So we're gonna see lots of action from the riders over this weekend. We're in uh, round five, Winter Park, Colorado. Um, I've head out from South Wales, which is quite a long plane ride. Uh, first day of official practice, just gone 12 on the Thursday. Uh, I've got two stages today, one and two. Start just down there. in the track, keeping them in line. It's uh, just, I guess sometimes it is tough racing the Euros in their, you know, in the style of racing that they've all done for years and that's always been a bit of a bit of an adaptation process for me really and it's hard to, to battle with them on terrain that they're really comfortable on so now time for them to, to come to Colorado for some terrain that I'm really comfortable on so I'm, I'm looking for, forward to the weekend now. Second practice run, going to get to grips with it all. Having won the last round, coming into this one here, are you feeling confident and uh, on top of your riding? Yeah, uh, really good. Yeah. Do, you, do you ride much bike park back home in France or not really? Not really, uh, my home is uh, a lot of natural trail, it's, but I love it's good. Pretty close with uh, all the riders. It, uh, for four different riders win uh, this year. Uh, yeah, I hope. I hope uh, I win. Uh. Stage one is pretty much just bike park jumps, fast berms. It's good. It's uh, it's real loose here because it's so dry. And then stage two is a bit rockier, more kind of downhill and just a bit more technical, really. They're both going to be pretty physical, I think. But one has a climb, two doesn't really have any climbs in it. So It's amazing. Sun's out at the moment, dusty trails up there. We've had such a mix this season. Does this sort of terrain play into your riding style and the way things you like to ride? Yeah, we are quite lucky between all the, the, the races. Uh, so many different kind of riding. Every, every race was quite different and good mix between every races. Here, again, it's really different. Tomorrow we have a uh, a real, uh, real bike park day with a lot of brooms, uh, jumps, and you have to stay really fit to, to push, push hard on the pedal. It's a, uh, it's a real day tomorrow, a physical day. I think I give my best tomorrow for the, the bike pass style. Really good day, right, and really fun, just smashing laps. Probably too many laps, to be honest, but uh, just having fun on the jumps and uh, the bike park. Put a 50 meter sprinting at the top, you just you feel hanging already, like it just takes it out. It's like 3,300 meters up there. So it's like the highest I've ever ridden a bike. With four rounds previous to this and three including this to go, one side of the line, it could be going brilliantly for the overall title, but if they fall the other side of it, it could be going all wrong. So it's all to play for this weekend in Colorado. <laughs>